Hi Bobby. Hi Anirudhan. So what shall we do today? Hmm. So I have seen. See, we we have seen actually various types of circuits in this course. Correct. We I remember in the lab we also did an experiment for the low pass filter. when the so, students had come here correct using the adlm using the adlm AD. kit correct correct and you know we changed the frequency to find out you know the, what happens to the response correct now i was thinking i want to do something like that for any circuit what i want mm. to do is uh, i can always see we have learnt in a previous week for a given input we can say the switch is turned on at this time we can calculate in the laplace domain yes yes but i want to do it for any you know any input mm -hmm. right so how do i uh, analyze this and use it so this means uh, the circuit if i can represent in some let's say if i have a box that represents the the circuit somehow mm -hmm. uh i am giving some input correct x of t okay x of t and then i am getting maybe output y of t sure so if this uh, box can represent mathematically what that circuit is correct correct so probably that will help yes so i basically you know i can always keep solving every time i apply x of t i find out what y of t is correct i apply x x2 of t i can find out what y2 of t is but mathematically for any x of t i want to be able to find out y of t so that means i need a function correct correct so some mathematical function that relates to i mean for any input what is the output correct how i mean when we studied circuit initially how did we manage this i think we wrote the differential equations correct that's the correct. first way we learned we correct. wrote it in the time correct. domain correct. we wrote the differential equation we solved it right so uh, we applied uh, you know turned on a switch yeah input voltage was some let us say 1 uh, volt or something yes yes so some capacitor charged correct so we wrote the differential equation correct. used the kvl kvl solved and then solve the differential equation correct, to get correct, the answer correct so if you want to maybe reproduce that kind of differential equation it has got some order depending on the number of uh, storage elements it has etc so we will write maybe a uh, standard equation that represents this sure so maybe uh, instead of uh, d by uh, dy by dt or dx by dt i'll just use d capital ah, d capital d so i'll just use d uh, maybe that indicates d y by dt sure or if it's a d square uh, that indicates uh, d square y of t by correct dt so dt it's square. an operator actually the it's y need not even be there correct right correct. so d times y would be dy dy by dt that's correct right so you yeah. can even remove the y yeah 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 correct it's an operator exactly correct. exactly so if it is that way maybe uh so d may have some i mean like uh, d square mm -hmm. depends on there may be uh, many number of i mean it could be it could be d power i mean uh, correct. cube by uh, ah, so correct. so let's put some number n may okay sure uh then the next one will be let's say so there may be a coefficient mm, correct okay correct so let's say a n minus 1 mm d power n minus 1 correct and so on correct until you come with d d0 which is no differentiation at all yeah linear term correct so that will be some a0 a1 times ha uh, uh, a1 times d d plus a0 plus a0 correct multiplied by y of t correct will be equal to another set of mm right terms multiplied by x of t correct this is because depending so x of t could input could be a voltage or a current correct output could be a voltage or a current correct you could have inductors and capacitors yeah 
So depending on which which voltage, which current, what you are looking at, yes. you would have a general differential equation, differentiation That's of y yes. and differentiation of x. Yes. Correct. I think after this, maybe we will take some example, then it will become very it clear. It will become very clear. <laughs> sure. So uh, let us say uh, another set of uh, hmm. terms here, d power m. Correct. So, this order is different. The yeah. previous one had d power n on for y of t. Correct. In general, this may be different. Correct. No? Correct. 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 Plus b 0 hmm. multiplied by the input x of B. Mm, correct. In general, I mean, basically what we are saying is, if we know this, I mean, we can get some function for this box. Correct. Uh, that means that relates between uh, x of t and uh, y of t. Correct. Correct. So now, depending on the number of elements. Uh, this uh, m and uh, n could be very large. Correct, correct. Solving this may be, it may take half a day. <laughs> <laughs> correct, that is right. Correct. But we know, no. Ah. Uh, we have solved the equations using uh, Laplace transforms, for example. Ah, okay. Right, we use techniques like that to simplify the circuit. So, this transform, I mean, we have transformed this e differential equation to some other domain that was correct. a Laplace transform. That was a Laplace transform. Then all our uh, calculations became, or uh, operations became just easy. system of linear yeah. equations. Yeah, to correct. Summation or uh, correct. 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 Okay. Okay. So we could do that then. Yeah. So what you are saying is uh, d power, I mean uh, n that corresponds to correct. So that is basically differentiating it n times. Yeah. And uh, if I remember right, differentiating it once. Yeah means that you multiplied by s, yes. the so, Laplace transform of d by dt so was s. So, one differentiation corresponds to s, one s operation. Correct. Multiplying by s, yes. in the frequency. Yes, domain. yes. So, which means we can represent this using, I mean, we can represent this whole, whole equation in Laplace domain. Correct. Okay, let us try that. So, this means I will have d power n means s power n. s power n, correct. Sorry. Y of T will become capital Y of y S. Of S. Correct. So, this is equal to plus V of uh, B m minus 1 times X of S. Correct. And uh, S power n on the left side ah. has a coefficient of 1 because we have normalized. Yes. Right? Yes. Even if you had some a power n, you could divide the whole thing by a power n and come up with new coefficients. Yes. Yes. Right? Yeah. So, here maybe we are making one assumption that there are there is no initial condition. Correct. Huh? That is right. Yeah. So, we will say maybe initial condition is uh, 0. Is 0. Sure. Correct. Okay. So, this means now that function is getting easier, I think. So, uh, I can write it as maybe y of s by x of s. Yes, yes, I think correct. so. Yeah, correct. I will just copy this to the next page. Oh, where is our copy box? Uh, this one. 
ok, ok. perfect so what we are saying is we can write it as maybe y of s by x of s is equal to Am I correct? Correct. A one of us plus A not. Mm. Correct. So basically, we got a function. Correct. That can be used to relate between uh, input and output. Input and output. Correct. Correct. So that's what we were looking for. Mm, if we correct. have this function, correct, that uh, somehow transfers this input to output. That's right. That's right. Correct. 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 That's right. And uh, this can be used for any uh, linear system. Systems. Correct. Yeah. Because now that we know for x of s, we know what output is. For 2 x of s, we can find out 2 y of s, it will be the same and correct, so on. Correct. 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 So, this uh, linearity is, will, is, holds. will hold. Will hold. Correct. Is there any name for this? Um, well, we are basically going from input to output, right? Yeah. So, we are transferring our attention from input to the output. Exactly. Exactly. So, maybe we will call it transfer, transfer function. Transfer function. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yes. I think the important thing mm. for the students to know, mm. there are a couple of conditions yeah. for uh, the system to satisfy Correct. where you can actually apply this, Correct. right? Yeah. So, like linearity is one of them. Yes. Uh, there are other things which they will learn in a future course. Yes, yes, yes. But uh, many of them will be valid for, like you said, no, for a circuit with no initial condition, exactly. they will be valid. Exactly. That no initial condition is very important. Very important. Right? Yes. Correct. Because we have taught the students. If you have an initial condition, you can no longer treat it linearly, no? Yes. We have seen it. Yeah. There is a fixed part. Correct. So, uh, usually I think it is also represented as H of S. H of S, correct. That capital H is the classic, uh, any textbook, no? Yeah. We will say a transfer yeah. function, capital yeah. H yeah. of S. I have seen some textbooks using G of S also. Ah, okay. But H is. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm.